Hey guys, we're here with Eric. Okay, so I'm Eric too, but we're double Eric. He just bought his place in Hawaii. Okay, and this place that we're in right now, two bedroom, two bath, two parking stall, townhouse in Pearl City. Great location, got a great deal on it. How old are you? 24, 24 years old. He's 24 years old and bought a house in Hawaii, in Oahu. You know, it's just, that's insane, You're, you did the dream. Yeah. So, what was the process? Um, very simple actually, um, I got to know Eric and without him, I mean, you know, I probably wouldn't have been able to do all of this on my own, but he made it easy for me. Um, I went ahead and we started off with a plan right? about yeah. two years ago. So yeah, yeah we met two years ago at a real estate investment like group mm -hmm. and I was like, what? and he was 22 at the time, so I was like, what's this kid doing here? But when I met him, I was like, oh, he has that fire. So then we started with your credit, right? We started getting your credit up. And now your credit's pretty high, right? Yeah, so we started working on credit, you know, doing the you know credit cards and making sure that everything was always on time, paying, you know, all the payments and yeah, that, that's that's kinda where it all started. Yeah, and then from there he finally got his you finally qualified for his VA loan. Mm -hmm. And then we made a plan. We were like, we're gonna find an undervalued house. Because now, you know, VA doesn't have to be a brand new house. It could be a house a house that needs needs work. So before I think it used to be only like ready to go turnkey houses. Right. But now they change the rules so you can actually have a house that needs remodeling. And do you remember how much you got this place for? It was listed for 333k. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what we went ahead and put in for because uh, it's a definitely a seller's market out here. Yeah, it's a seller's market, it's a pub market, and yeah. that was an, a great price for this area. Yes. And this, it was our third house, right? Or Th third offer. Yeah, because the first two went like that. Yeah. You know, and people were overbidding and these were more turnkey properties and we were like, okay, it's gonna be really hard. So when we saw this one, we jumped on it and luckily the the seller accepted our offer and it was great. And then, you know, we did the whole cover letter, told Eric's story and background and, and they loved it. And they loved the Eric and Eric connection. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, what's the plan? Because you think like an investor, right? Okay. So this is this is good, you know, for people, anybody with a VA, you can use it just for your family or as an investment too. A lot of people don't know that. You can use it as an investment. So what's your plan for this? Uh, so the plan was to put a little equity into this home. Um, I was gonna be doing most of the work myself. So I installed the flooring, you know, the paint, did the ceiling, some lighting. Um, that's why I don't even have any furniture in here yet uh, because the plan was to remodel this place and then, you know, turn it into a different type of loan later on so I can pay off my VA loan and then move on and reuse the VA loan for a different property. So, if you didn't catch that, that is a great strategy, yeah. especially if you're single and young. So he's basically house hacking this. Two bedroom, he's living in one, he's renting out the other bedroom, so that's helping pay the, the mortgage. <laughs> he has the VA to also paying the mortgage, so you know, he's working both sides. And now, he remodeled everything pretty much. He's almost done with the whole remodeling, he still has the bathroom to do but he's put in so much equity with the remodeling. And you spent about $6,000 so $6, far? 6,000 on just parts and, and material. I can tell you right now, so we got it at 335, I believe, and he could probably resell it right now for 380 if he wanted to. And then later on, it's gonna be over 400,000 when he's finished. So that's, a lot, that's how you put a lot of equity into a home that, that's how you make money. And this is just a starter home for him. I mean, he's only 24, so it's a starter home. And later on, he's gonna refinance this after a year because it takes about a year. And then because of all that equity, he can refinance into a conventional loan or a different type of loan. He gets his full VA back and he's gonna buy another house and do the same process. How bad was this property, this unit? Uh, it, was, it was pretty terrible. Um, it was old carpet, it had a nasty smell, um, old lighting. It was there was a hole gross. in the floor. There was a hole in the floor. <laughs> like, the, the, um, eight, the seller's agent was like, be careful, don't fall through there. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so it was, it needed work, but we saw the value in it. I mean, it was a great price in this area. Pearl City goes like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of military here. A lot of people want to live here. The community college is nearby. The train is being built. There's a there's, there's going to be a station here, so eventually, so all that's going to add to the value, and it's going to be amazing. And he did such an amazing job remodeling this place by himself. But if you don't have that kind of talent, what was going to be your plan? Like you were going to ask for help. But I'm an electrician by trade. Um, I'm not a carpenter. I'm, I'm not a plumber. I'm none of that. Um, so I did need to ask 
I was asking around uh, the, the rest of the guys who work with me in civil engineering, and if I needed any little tips and tricks, I would just go ahead and you know show them what was going on, take pictures, video, or whatever, and then it'd be like, how would you go about doing this? And that's when they would you know give me some tips, show me some links, um, everything you can find on Google nowadays. Yeah, YouTube, um, right? YouTube. Um, you can rent tools from Home Depot. Um, huge things that you can do. Um, you don't need to always pay a contractor for everything. And that's where I saved a lot of money, a lot of money. I think I would have been probably twenty thousand dollars in. Oh yeah, contractors in Hawaii so, are expensive. Yeah. So if you can do yeah. anything yourself, do it. And you know he's in the Air Force. He was going to ask his Air Force Air Force buddies to help and give him beers. I mean, ask your buddies mm -hmm. if you're in the Navy, wherever. You know, they there's a lot of people with skills, and they'll they'll be willing to help you. Exactly. Yeah. And that way you don't have to pay the crazy contracting prices here in Hawaii. Yeah. And so, materials too. You, you guys have talked about using a VA loan and then switching out to conventional and then using the VA loan again. What's the benefit of using a VA loan to buy a property? No down payment. So he you don't have to save up. Zero down. He didn't have to touch his savings at all. Yeah. And even his closing costs were pretty cheap too for this yeah. place. It was less. No, how much were your closing costs for this? Uh, like. I think in overall like six six grand. I think. Okay, yeah. So that wasn't too bad. And then we also got a credit for this unit because of the condition of some of the appliances. So we got that, and he used that for closing as well. Mm -hmm. So there's all these tricks that you can use, and that's why you should have a realtor that knows what they're doing, especially that knows about the VA and about investing and all that stuff. The VA lets you rent out a unit after one year. So anything you buy after it only has to be a primary residence for one year. After that, you can rent it out. So he can build rental properties like that and then every time he switches he, he gets his full VA back can put a no no down payment loan on another house so a lot of people who are in the military or you know Navy Air Force whatever they come here and they think oh I'm only stationed here for a short time two three years four years even but so they think oh it's not a good time to buy right or it's too expensive what would you say to them it's not it's definitely not um, definitely like you said look at you know he showed me uh, a little history of like you know the pricing of the house market going up and down. This place is always appreciated. I mean, the scarcity of this place is huge. It's an island, so there's only so much land that you can have. Um, so, it, yeah, I mean, definitely, if you're not buying a place like this, um, yeah, you're, you're pretty messing up. You're messing up if you're not using the VA. Um, I would say, at least. I would say, if you're here less than a year, okay, you don't that, have to yeah, buy. Yeah, that makes sense. But if you're gonna be here more than a year, yeah. use your VA loan here. Mm -hmm. Because this is one of the best places to get your starter home. And you only need one year, because then you can rent it. You yeah. can rent it out. And, and I'm a huge numbers person. So I, you know, I heard all this stuff before, but you know, I just kind of took it as a grain of salt. And then I went ahead and did my own research. And numbers don't lie. So if you look back on it, you know, you hopefully do what I did, which anybody can. This isn't something special. Um, He's not special. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> special. So it's like, if you, anyone can do it. Um, and then I feel like you'll thank yourself. So with the VA, you got to think about also your VAH, right? It's the housing allowance. That's tax-free housing allowance. I mean, what, what do you think about that? So it, it's definitely a tool to use. Um, what I did when I got out of the barracks, dorms, wherever, you, you know, whatever you're stationed at, um, I was friend and I was renting, you know, a little room from him and I was just using that just temporary so I can find this home, um, have those two months that they look for, right, to, to make sure that you have enough money coming in so that you can buy a place and um, I was saving it. I was, you know, giving him enough money for the room that I was sleeping in just with the basics, nothing but a bed and like a little desk and a computer. And then I saved that money. Once I had that money saved up, my credit was lined up, my money was lined up, my investments were all lined up, and we, we went ahead and, and started offering for some homes. Um, then it was like, okay, now we're on the right track because now I'm using my BAH for my own mortgage, my own asset. I wasn't just giving it up as rental money. You know, once you give up the money to someone's rent, it's, it's over, it's, it's gone. And if you're on base, you get the whole thing. Yeah, if you're living on base, um, so I know there's some people, uh, I know some sergeants and stuff that are living on base and they, they give up their whole BAH. And once once they move out, they're done. Um, they just let it, you know, they, they let that property for someone else, they give it up. And so they got nothing, they leave here with nothing. And at least this way, you know, whatever you're putting into your mortgage, you're paying much, you're pretty much paying yourself at that point. And then the cool thing is, this is tax-free money, right? The VAH. You pay in your mortgage. The mortgage interest, 
you can deduct from your income tax. So I mean, it's a powerful tool that you can do here. There's so many things that you can connect to save you money, basically, in the long run right. and make you money. Right, right. Definitely a tool. Use it, use it wisely. Stop wasting your BH. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, you see Eric, he's 24 and he has a great place, great townhouse in Hawaii. You know, anybody can do it. We just worked together, we did. We had a plan. That's what you need, you need an entry plan and an exit plan and then we worked on that together. So you first find out how much it can rent for. So later on you'll know and then can you buy it? How much can you buy it for and can you afford the monthly payment? That's all you need and then do the numbers. They'll tell you, they'll always tell the truth. Numbers always, always tell the truth. Good. Numbers don't lie. Yeah, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions for Eric or this Eric, the realtor, <laughs> just send it to us and you know, we'll answer Eric too. You know, I'll put his contact information so you can talk to us. All right, Aloha.